Hello, everybody. <laughs> so they were cuddling with daddy. And of course, I just flicked on the camera. So now she's over here. Um, so I've completely lost my train of thought. Okay. No, don't play with mommy's dish. Okay. So we have obviously the Father's Day collection coming on Monday. Uh, it's beautiful out today. I have been major buku slacking because I haven't sent out the text alert for these things just yet. I will get to that this evening. Um, but the Disney vault is opening. Oh no, Nuggy. I gotta keep Nuggy under the camera because she's not wearing pants. <laughs> oh, daddy's sleeping? Okay, well, can you go back to Daddy? I want to go see a video. Well, hold on. Mommy can't have Nuggie's potty training booty on the camera. <laughs> so, sorry. Okay. So, Disney Villains is coming back out of the vault on Monday, too. Not just the Father's Day collection, but the Villains. So, I have actually emptied out the wax for my warmer. So that I could show you guys the Villains Warmer. Because this is one that I do have. It came out in the fall. And then they put it back into the vault. But it's stunning. So I did. This is the one that sits front and center on my desk at all times. <coughs> and like I said, this is coming back on Monday. So this is the dish for it. It's this really cool green dish with the poison apple on the inside. Um, and then it's actually like you have you put it together. So oops this is the cauldron and you can face it any way you want out so you've got the evil queen and i'll show you guys here in a second there's a sh glass shade that goes underneath it then you also have ursula and she's my favorite she's the one who usually faces forward and then we also have maleficent so underneath it and like i said this is like a three-part warmer it has this really cool shade so when you put the warmer together, you line these pieces up so that your um, characters shine out. So you've got Ariel and her bubble um, and Ursula's bubble. You've got the eye of the dragon for Maleficent and then you've got the magic mirror for the evil queen. So <coughs> let me go ahead and put this up. This is the base. Ooh, it's a little dusty. <sighs> Suppose I should clean that whole thing off. It hasn't left my desk since I unboxed it. This is by far like one of my favorite warmers and it's always front and center. And I'll show you guys how it lights up, but you can see the briars along the bottom and it's this really cool like purple metallic finish on it. This thing is just gorgeous. I love this warmer. So it does have these little feet here and you can put the shade on top and I'm like trying to keep the kid out of the camera because she's been doing really really good at potty training but only if I don't put anything on her butt because then she feels like something's there so we're, we're naked booty baby all the time um, and then the cauldron obviously it slips over the top and I'm gonna try to line this up I think I put the dragon side there so let me line that up with the eyeball so you can see what the eye I'm gonna flip this on because I cleaned out my wax just for that. So these little, uh, the shade glows with the green and I'm, I don't have it quite lined up just right. There we go. So you can see the eye through there. You can see, I gotta move something because like it's, this is still plugged in. Let me, uh, let me move that. Okay. You got Ursula there and you can see Ariel through her little bubble. And then you've got the evil queen here with the the magic mirror. So I've never actually faced the evil queen forward. Snow White is not one of my personal favorites, but I do love the Snow White dish that goes with it. And you can see the whole dish like glows green. I absolutely love this warmer. It is just like I said, it's a beautiful piece. And I'm excited they're bringing it back out of the vault because I have been hoarding my wax collection because it does come um in a three-piece set if you want to get the bars individually you can add them to your scentsy club but it does come in a, a three bar set and you can see here you got the poison apple on the front you've got the briars wrapping all the way around but it comes in like this really killer like box set evil queen ursula and maleficent and inside the box set is the wax bars that go with it so 
<coughs> okay, you want, they want a snack. Hold on. You cannot have the whole box, but I will open a package of them for you. I know, chocolate graham crackers. Yes. Yes, you can eat the whole package, I don't care. It's not gonna kill you. Graham crackers are pretty good for you. Ooh, those smell good. Here. Okay, graham crackers. So inside the box set, sorry you guys, <laughs> is the wax bars. And like I said, I've been hoarding this as a collector's item. I have not melted um, these bars. I did get some separately. So you've got the Evil Queen, just one bite. And this is kind of like a fall, like cinnamon apple kind of fragrance. It's really not my cup of tea. There's too much cinnamon in it but if you like spice and cinnamon this is a really good bar or if you're like me and you're just a disney collector i have the set just to have the set um the one that i liked best out of this collection actually happened to be maleficent the mistress of evil and this is like a purple well it's obviously purple um it's like this really like deep rich like berry fragrance that is really good i cannot remember what the set notes on it are but it does smell good. I have melted this one. It's almost like black raspberry vanilla isk, you know, esque. But there's something a little more, I don't know, earthy about this bar, I guess. Um, and then we have Ursula, and hers was Poor Unfortunate Souls. This was really, really fruity. Um, it's kind of got like a blue raspberry, almost like a berry bright raspberry vanilla um, or raspberry slushy uh, or cotton candy kind of vibe to it. So it reminds me a lot of the Berry Bright. Um, it's like a one day and done and it's not super, super strong. So if you don't like strong fragrances, but you like that kind of like blue raspberry smell, uh, Ursula would be good for that. So that is, like I said, the box set. So I might just pick myself up just a backup one just to have it, but these are displayed on my desk <laughs> here when you walk into the house. Um, because like I said, this is this is probably one of my, my all time favorite Disney warmers. So, and I turn this like, I love this. It's just, it's so pretty. So that is the villains warmer. Like I said, coming out of the vault on Monday. But the other thing we have, is the whiff box with all the summer sniffs. So I did get almost a little bit of everything from the summer collection coming in. Um, I did skip the laundry just because I'm like completely, totally OCD about my laundry and I need it to all match. I've got the whiffs, the, the you know, and the fabric softener and like the whole package when I'm doing my laundry. So they didn't offer it in the dryer discs or the, um, Sense off, so I skipped the laundry, but I did get everything else. <coughs> okay, so this is the big whiff box, and it says Bring On Summer. So I obviously have already seen spoilers for this. I am really bad <laughs> about like waiting for my whiff box to come in and not looking at spoilers because I like to know what's coming, but. That's okay. So we have our little flyer. It says warm weather is around the corner. And while it may not feel like summer yet, it can definitely smell like it. So today felt really summery, um, which is good. Although we are due for like three straight days of rain, which I'm not looking forward to. And this month's paper craft are drink tags. So these would, you can cut them out, put a little slit in them, put them around the bottom of a wine glass. I'm not a drinker. Um, I don't see the kids having fun with this one. So we probably will not do the paper craft out of this month's whiff box, but I still love that they always put something extra fun in there. But I'm excited to get into this box because like I said, my summer collection is not here yet. It's not supposed to be here till this weekend. So I'm excited to get some sniffs on. Okay, first thing out, we have a hand soap in blue agave and melon. Let's bust this guy open because I think we get a, a sneak sniff of like literally <coughs> all of the smells in the summer collection. So, and I do have the scent description for this, for the summer collection pulled up next to me on the computer. I've got to figure out how to get this open. 
because I have extremely weak nails. So like, I'm really afraid to start picking at this with my nails. Um, that's why I always keep them painted so that they don't just bust off. Oh, the, I'm, I'm excited for this box. Hi, Sabra, how are you, honey? But I am way wicked excited for this box because, you know, it was, Sensi never gives you like sneak peeks into the new collection. So this was really kind of a cool thing uh, because the Whiff box came out even before they announced when the summer collection was hitting. So my Whiff box actually came in a little bit earlier, but I had somebody else order a Whiff box later and I was, I swapped it. I gave her mine and waited for hers to get in. And it was like killing me because it was, it was there and I wanted to open it. I'm like, oh God, come on. Um, but, you know, <laughs> you guys come first when it comes down to this stuff. So, you know, I was like, I can wait. It'll be cool. I can be cool. All right, let's get this open. Um, so with our hand soaps, just so you know, there is this little tab thing on there that helps keep them from you know, even if they like spin during shipping or whatever, cause they get tossed around. There is a little plastic tab on here that you do have to take off in order for, ouch, easier said than done, Laura, um, in order to use it because the pump doesn't go up very high. So there is, like I said, this little plastic tab thing on there. So if you ever get one of our hand soaps with this pump dispenser system, just make sure you take off your tab. And then let's see, blue agave and melon. Let's see what Sensi says about it. Um, a sweet desert oasis lush with blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. This is one that I was not sure about because I don't like melon very much. Um, I don't like strong melon. I don't mind like a little melon in the background, but. Um, hold on. I'm, like trying not to make a mess here. <laughs> let's see okay so this this one's really hard to describe you get the melon from it and I the wax will probably be maybe just a little bit different um it's not bad this is more like fresh and clean than it is fruity to me and I have no idea what blue agave is supposed to smell like necessarily, but it says a sweet desert oasis. What baby? What baby? What's up? But yeah, this is more green to me. Ouch. So I'm gonna, I mean, it says, like I said, desert oasis, lush with blue agave, honeydew melon. And kiwi so i get more like fresh green clean versus like the melon and the kiwi so it's not really like super fruity to me but it's nice it's not bad i'll definitely use it um what is it my favorite probably not uh, let's see okay we also got the fragrance flower in there has been a typo on this so i think it's supposed to be like Fiji flower or Fuji flower. Uh, they also released the blue agave and melon in the fragrance flower, but let me see here. This one is, it says Fiji flower on the website, but I think the bottom on the box, yeah, the bottom on the box says Fuji. Fuji would make more sense to me because this is supposed to have apple in it. So a vivid lay delicately crafted with pink plumeria, pear blossom, um, and an air of apple. So we're gonna get into this. I want to sniff it. So this is one that I'm not sure. I'm going to have to use my teeth. Oh, come on. Come on. What's the matter, Snuggles? I'm trying to get into this, and of course she's decided now is a good time to start fussing when I thought I was in the clear and apparently I'm not okay there we go they wrap these so so stinking well sometimes I mean they are perforated but I have a hard time with the perforation just because like I said I've got no no nails okay oh I'm gonna have to open this all the way up let me get the pop top out What's the matter, baby? What's a Pop-Tart? She 
Oh, it's a pop tart. Oops. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, I like this a lot. So I'm not a floral person, so I was really concerned that I wasn't going to like this because we've had a lot of plumeria scents come out. So like we had the, what was it? Like the peach plumeria one, like plumeria peach. That was awful. I hated it. This is really, really good. So <coughs> this is not like an overwhelming floral. Um, wow. Holy crap. I, this is so hard to describe. This is like very like perfumey, but not like um, super floral, overwhelming perfumey. You get like just a little bit of apple, just a little bit of pear, and just that like little bit of like sweetness. Oh my God, I'm in love. This is going in my club. Oh, I need more of this. Um, okay, sorry. I was like, wow. Oh, this is, this Fiji flower or Fuji flower or whatever it is that they're calling it is beautiful. So if you have never tried one of our fragrance flowers, and I should have thought to grab the one that I have uh, sitting on my windowsill, but the fragrance flowers are really, really cool. So it's like a reed diffuser system and you pop this into the oil and it lightly scents the air. They're really good in smaller spaces or for like me, I've got it on my windowsill in my kitchen, so when the window is open, it kind of just wafts through. I'll be there in a minute, baby. Um, and you can also color the edges of the petals with a Sharpie, and it will blend into the flower. So they're really pretty. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, I do have a set of permanent markers, so I will be coloring that, but they last forever, forever and ever and ever. Um, I still have oil in the bottom of mine, and I think I colored it like two months ago. So I love the fragrance flowers. They make really good gifts. Um, they make really good everything, but they're really good for smaller spaces. Um, they are starting to send the Mylar bags now with our wax as things are starting to heat up. So this just helps insulate and protect your wax from melting during shipping. Um, when summer really gets kicking in, they will also start putting an ice pack in there to help protect your wax. But we have two bars, two full-size bars. So we have the mandarin and mango nectar and the coconut daiquiri. So everybody that I talked to was super excited for this coconut daiquiri. Um, so I'm excited to go ahead and, and take a sniff of this one first. Um, and then the mandarin and nectar, like I said, I got bars in all of them. <coughs> um, but there is peach in here, so I'll be curious to see how the peach plays out. So coconut daiquiri is a tropical blend of coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream. Oh, it smells like suntan lotion. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Um, oh, I was really scared that the banana was going to be too much, but... There's just very little banana. I'll be there in a minute. Very, very little banana. This smells like suntan lotion. This is so good. This is like the epitome of the summer kind of fragrance. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I cannot wait to see how this does. Okay, coconut daiquiri for the win. Shoot, this is another like club. Oh my God, that's so good. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm really excited for this collection, you guys. Uh, then we have the mandarin. Oh, I'm so glad I got I got this in the sugar scrub. Okay, uh, <laughs> where's mandarin? Um, I did pick up the clean bundle because I am crazy happy about our clean stuff. I'm currently using Fiesta Lime in our dish soap, um, and I've been using Squeeze the Day in like our counter clean and our all-purpose cleaner. I did order in Johnny Appleseed, um, but I'm gonna use this this first probably depending on what this is so this is a medley of juicy mandarin mango nectar and peach puree mm. huh okay <laughs> the bottom is a lot better than the top so you know in the bars and the reason we pop these out is because obviously as they're being poured the oils do sometimes settle to the bottom they well, not sometimes, they do settle to the bottom. So you get a better idea of what the bar is going to smell like warmed on the bottom versus the top. So the peach does come through on this, but it's not like an overwhelming peach like the Plumeria peach was. 
the Mandarin does balance it out. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's probably not club worthy in my book, but it does smell good. Yeah. The more I sniff it, the more I like it. So I'll be interested to see how this does when it's warmed. And since I cleaned out my villains warmer <laughs> to shoot this, uh, I will probably have to throw some of this in. That's really good. Not as good as the coconut daiquiri though. Oh my God, that coconut daiquiri. Ooh, I'm obsessed. Um, we do have our whiff cup or our sample whiff cup for the scent of the month for June. Um, and they, we did also get, oops, two, uh, samples of washer whiffs in pink cotton. So as a consultant, I love our samples. I do keep samples in our laundry line right now. We have Amazon rain Luna and, um, clothesline. So I am really hoping that this means that this is coming to the consultant store because pink cotton is like absolutely one of my favorite all time fragrance fragrances. It's like this really like berries and clean laundry smell. It's delightful. Oh, I love this. So I'm excited to try these. Pink cotton is one in the laundry. I've not tried yet, but I've tried it in just about everything else. Um, and then we have, like I said, the appealing apple. So I do not have scent notes on this. I'm sure I could look it up somewhere, but I'm not going to try, but this will be the scent of the month for next month. So my kit should be processing in a few days, uh, depending on when it arrives though. I might be in Florida when it gets here. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping it comes in right before we leave for Florida. Um, let's see. Come on. A peeling apple. And what I like to do with these to get a general idea is melt them in the master bedroom. Ooh, that's nice. I love apple scents. So these little sample cups equate to about two to two and a half cubes worth of wax. You can see how big they are. What I do with my whiff cup, or uh, with my uh, sample cup from the whiff box is I usually put it in my master bedroom to see how well it does and how strong it is because we do have two like regular size warmers in there and I cut it in half. Ooh, this is similar to Johnny Appleseed, but just like a little bit smoother. This is really, I love apple though. There's no cinnamon in this, which makes me so happy because very often with apple fragrances, people love to mix cinnamon in it for cinnamon apples. And I am not a cinnamon fan. So this is just like a really clean, really crisp kind of apple fragrance, but it's not quite as like tart as the Johnny Appleseed. I mean, I actually have Johnny Appleseed over here, I think. No, well, I take that back. I think I put it in my other bucket. Um, because my drawer was starting to overflow, so I moved the bar. But this is really, really nice. It's just a nice, fresh, clean apple scent. There's, a, it, But it's really smooth. Ooh, I'm excited for that one. So, um, oh, I love apple. All right, so recap. We have sniffed all four fragrances. If I have to put them in order, the Fuji uh, flower fragrance, oh my God, this is my favorite, followed by the Coconut Daiquiri. Oh, I need this, I need this in everything. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I love that suntan smell. Oh, I love suntan lotion, it just smells like bleach. Oh, so good. Um, probably next would be the Mandarin and Mango Nectar. So I don't like I don't like the top of this. It's very peachy on the top. Um, so I'm assuming peach floats. I don't know. But the bottom is really good. So, you know, once you get that mandarin in with the peach, it's really not bad at all. I do like the bottom of the bar, not so much the top. Um, and then last uh, would probably be the blue agave and melon. Like I said, there, it, there's something very, very green about this. Um, and I like I said, I don't get... You do get the melon. You do get you know some of the melon it's not really like super heavy melon it's more green um and and fresh but it's probably not not one of my favorites because melon is is really not my jam but we will definitely use the hand soap um and then um well, who was it i was watching lisa roberry last night and she showed us how to make 
foaming hand soap out of the Scentsy hand soaps. So she like purchased glass bottles off of Amazon with the foaming top thing and you portion it out so you fill it like a quarter of the way full with the with the hand soap and the rest of the way with water. You mix it really good and really slow, kind of like a lava lamp um, kind of deal. And then you can turn this into a foaming hand soap and you can get multiple um, bottles of, of hand soap out of just one of these. So it was kind of a really cool idea, but yeah, coconut. Coconut. I cannot wait for my wax to get here because that Fiji flower is amazing. So that is what I have for you guys today. I'm going to go, I guess, make dinner because if they're raiding the pantry at 530, it means they're hungry, but it's not dinner time yet. And trust me, they've been fed like 400 times today, so they are not dying of starvation. But I will catch you guys all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>